Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. In tonight's What's Working, Providence Hospital is known for its rich Catholic faith. It was founded by a religious order called the Daughters of Charity. As News 5's Devin Wall shows us, because fewer women are entering the religious order, there's only one sister left who's assigned to the hospital, and she is about to turn 89 years old. For over a decade, Sister Alex Lazari morning, walks through the doors of Providence Hospital. I, you know I love <laughs> you. Yeah, you too. And there isn't a day that someone isn't happy to see her. Good to see you and all you good nurses. Oh, good to see you. She's been a daughter of charity for the past 70 years, since she was just 18. We don't retire. We keep, as long as we can move, we do something. <laughs> Sister Alex comes to the hospital five days a week. Sister Alex is our energizer bunny. Lisa Bean says Sister Alex helps preserve the Catholic presence at the hospital. She's very active in maintaining the chapel. She also makes sure that every day the patients have a morning prayer on every breakfast try. Providence Hospital was founded by the Daughters of Charity back in the 1800s. And at that time, there was a sister on every floor and in every department. Now Sister Alex is the only sister who who's here on a daily basis. To see the habit is truly amazing what you can see the reaction on the patient's faces, the family's faces, even the staff. They love to see them. And Sister Alex loves to see everyone too. I like to help help people that are sick and help them out and do anything I can do to help them. Sister plans to carry out the good work of the Daughters of Charity as long as she can. As she lives out her vocation, she chose when she was just a teenager. For what's working, with photojournalist Arnell Hamilton, I'm Devin Walsh.